Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mampolo from Mampolo's Corner. Rene Yomaisa. Guys, so you don't reach, say, we they talk about our president elect. <laughs> we they talk about some corrupt cases, some drug cases, some these cases, certificate forgery. You don't reach, say, we they talk about our president elect and elect. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused at this moment. No, not the only thing we they talk about now. We don't, they, we don't they talk about in son. <laughs> Oh, which country? Where are we going? This country? Where are we going? This country? You know, the only the president select or select uh, let I don't know. We they talk about corruption cases. We talk about uh, passport. We talk about uh, forgery certificate. We talk about uh, what the what is it called? We talk about uh, I can't call drugs. We talk about uh, what is it called? Uh, what is the another one? No, gonna they remind me. I should watch this video. No, 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 you talk about age. You talk about where he come from. You talk about who born him. You talk about you talk about school when he go, when he no go. I just tired. So not be only the president elect, I be select. We they talk about now. Now we are talking about his son. <laughs> about ten point eight million US dollar. Ten point eight million. Oh Jesus, see money. Ten point eight million US dollar. When then they investigate now. <laughs> Is it corrupt money? Not corrupt money? Is it property money? Not property money? How did a 30 year old son, as at that time, <laughs> make this kind of amount of money? From where was the source of money? On the ask question for Nigeria. Not be only in Papa with the ask question now. We don't digress to the son. Very soon we'll go find one of your daughter. We'll go ask. Or, 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 or good as well. Go, go meet your wife. You go to ask your wife again. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much. For those who never see corruption case, or be investigation case, and investigation, all right now, make another word. Watch video. Let's begin what's trending. With reactions trailing the Bloomberg investigation that linked Shei Tinubu, son of Nigeria's president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to the purchase of a fraud-tainted $10.8 million property in the United Kingdom. Shei was said to have purchased the property in 2017 through Aranda Overseas Corp, an offshore company in which he is a main shareholder. The investigation maintained that there is no suggestion that Tinubu was personally involved in the acquisition of the property. According to the Bloomberg report, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission in 2016 secured an order to seize the property from Kola Aluko, an ally of Desiani Alison Madrike, former Minister of Petroleum. Interestingly, the forfeiture order was still in force when Tinubu's son bought the house out of receivership. Well, let's take some reactions. This is from Shire Swombo, who wrote, In 2020, Alpha Betas MD said in a writ of summons that 500 million naira was diverted to Starcom's Aranda Resources. We now know Tinubu's son, Shei, is its main shareholder. Connecting the dots, Tinubu using Alpha Beta to pay his son, Shei, millions. Well, Kweku wrote, so six years ago, while Shei Tinubu was still 30 years old, he was able to afford a 7.5 billion naira cash payment for a house in London, a house that was lined up for seizure by the Buhari administration due to corruption ties, was suddenly bought over by Tinubu's son, and he paid in cash. Well, on what I wrote, from a legal perspective, this is a clean transaction for Shei. Don't just look good. To be fair on Shei Tinubu, if the property had been on receivership by Deutsche Bank, then it means that it was no longer Aluko's property. With how receivership works, the Nigerian government would not have been able to take it over anyways. It would have just been sold to anyone. Receivership is defined as a legal process in which a creditor, that is Deutsche Bank, assumes ownership of a debtor, Aluko's property, after they default on a mortgage that is secured by a fixed legal charge. Well, the odd question is whether Aluko deliberately defaulted on his mortgage so that the Nigerian government could no longer confiscate it as proceeds of embezzlement allegations. The transaction by Shei Tinubu by itself, it's not illegal, but the circumstances are shady. Well, Ayo, this uh, whole conversation was huge on social media. I mean, the first question is, what is Bloomberg's interest in this whole deal? I mean, is the United Kingdom, are they questioning this transaction? Are they questioning the property? Why is Bloomberg interested at this point? Well, um, Bloomberg is an international media house, and they have a right to investigate cases of interest. 
Now, in terms of the United Kingdom's interest, the property itself is in St. John's Wood, which is in North London, which mm. is in the United Kingdom. And we know that in the past, with efforts with regards to illegal uh, use of money or money laundering or purchase of property using illegally gotten funds, the UK has indicated in, in the past interests to support Nigeria mm. in repatriating funds that have been that have come from you know loots or through illegal means. So mm. perhaps we can use that, see that as an angle as to the UK's interest, Bloomberg's interest. But at the end of the day, we have a report, mm -hmm. and the report doesn't look very clear. There are grey areas. Mm. To be honest, Shay Tinubu is a private citizen. It's his dad, Ashiwa Jubala Metinubu, who's run for presidency and who is now the president-elect. However, he is an interest, you know, interest in terms of a figure because, of course, he's the son of the president-elect. Mm. And so what he does could reflect poorly or well on his father. Mm. The lawyers have spoken. There's no legal implication, at least up until now, for Ashiwa Jubala Metinubu or would affect his swearing in because... He's not listed in Aranda. It is his son, Shei Itinubu. Yes. But then there are other questions, Oji, which some tweets have already suggested. Number one is that this deal is not very straightforward. It was in receivership. The person, the owner, um, uh, um, Kola Luko, Jido Mokore, uh, were under investigation at the time for corruption, or yes. especially linked to the former minister of petroleum, Alison Madweke, Desiane Alison Madweke, Mrs. Desiane Alison Madweke. So it is quite interesting, and I think that this is just the beginning of what really transpired. Mm. But what's also important is that we now begin to understand and see the owners of these um, SPVs, special purpose vehicles or companies that buy houses. Finally, I just want to say something in terms of the question that was asked mm. with regards to sources of income, because yes. that then becomes a big question. What does Shei Tinubu do? What was he doing at the age of 30 in terms of occupation? Was this money proceeds from his father's real estate business? Was this part of the real estate business um, investment they had done? So these are the kind of questions. I know today he's a media, practice, a media owner in terms of he owns billboards around the area and a few businesses here and there. What was he doing at the age of 30 for him to be able to afford cash down without mortgage? This was listed in the, um, the Bloomberg um, um, report. But also brings to question the condo that was bought by Tinubu's younger daughters as well in, the, in New York. They are private citizens, but then questions must arise as, as Nigerians right. as to what's the source of the income. Well, Dr. Bati, Bloomberg did mention that Tinubu was now personally involved in the acquisition. But there was also another report that Bloomberg also mentioned, which is a premium time report that stated that Tinubu and Buhari had visited that house in London. I mean, this raises a lot of questions as to what really is going on. Okay, here. Yeah. The principle is that law is not morality. So many of the people who have commented on this, they are raising moral questions. They're saying, where did uh, Shei Tinubu get the uh, money from? Where did Tinubu's uh, children, where did they get money from? Now, these are persons who have not held public office. So technically, really, it will be wrong to say, you know, you are questioning their legal rights to own property which is provided for expressly under Section 43 of uh, the 1999 Constitution, which says that as a Nigerian citizen, you can own immovable, you can acquire and own immovable property. But that law talks about Nigeria. Now, under the uh, property rights, property ownership rights, if you are of age of maturity, you can own property. And these properties that we're talking about here, they are in other jurisdictions. Shei Tinubu is 37 years old. He's said to have acquired a property in England at the age of 30. Now, except there are issues about money laundering, about abuse of resources in Nigeria, uh, then the UK authorities themselves are in a position to raise questions about how you steal money from Nigeria to come and acquire a three-story property in England. That is not the case, but I'm sure that the UK authorities are following the story and they will look at it. It's all right. Bloomberg reporting the story, where well, Bloomberg doesn't need to have any special interest. Bloomberg, you know, is a media house. A media house can inquire into any subject affecting anybody under the sun.
The linkage with uh, Ashwa Jibola Chinubu is president elect. Falls under that category. Now, once you are a public figure, Absolutely. everything about you is game. Okay. Even your old girlfriends who are on retirement benefits <laughs> can be investigated. Why are you laughing? I mean, you always say <laughs> Some it. girlfriends never retire. <laughs> you know, they have to keep... Some girlfriends they, never they retire. Keep, that they, one they I keep have not heard. They keep uh, receiving benefits for life. <laughs> but in any case... Talking from experience. But in any case, that's yeah, right. something <laughs> before experience. Us. Okay, so in this particular case, it will be difficult for anybody to link the fact that uh, Bola Metinu you know, once spent time there in his son's house, yes. you know, to link it with the politics of... Uh, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I think that in this regard, the court judgment that people are referring to, that, oh, a federal high court said that property was, uh, you know, under investigation, EFCC was going to take it and all of that. The EFCC jurisdiction does not extend to the UK. So the material, the, the judgment of the high court in Nigeria is not going to take effect in UK. And if the property was under receivership, under a different jurisdiction, I don't see any legal impediments, you know, uh, preventing Shei Tinubu from owning that property. All other issues about where did he get the money from, uh, who is the true owner of the party, uh, his father gave him the money, those are moral questions. And that is why I suspect that the spokespersons of the president, the EFCC, the... Uh, other parties involved have refused to comment on the subject. Absolutely. All now, right. I don't see the news. I know got problems. Say this one link to Nobu or not to Nobu. The only problem one I get now is that you are prepared under investigation of Syria. <laughs> Syria investigation. Don't buy investigation of Syria cases. Syria cases. Now they don't they bring the Peking joy. <laughs> the only problem one I get here. So, when I don't see Dr. Abati and. Uh, my lovely sister, what is her name again? Um, Ayo. <laughs> Ayo, I always forget your name. Why now? Huh? I know they like forget the names of beautiful girls like you. <laughs> so, so, they don't analyze and finish. And what did them talk? Hmm? I support them. I agree. <laughs> but let's, let's see and see they play out. <laughs> and then they take us play. Make with the watch and see they play out. Guys, I don't want to talk too much. If you love what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Even on TikTok. Hello, I'm going to love you guys. Peace out.